So the concept here is, as you can see, super simple. That is why it's minimalism. And I really just have like the grass here in the foreground. I'm shooting ultra wide at 12 millimeter because I'm fairly close to the tree and I do want the tree to be fairly small in the scene. I have tried to move a little bit further back, but I wasn't really satisfied with how the grass looked there in the foreground. So I've come a little bit closer and changed to the wide angle and it's more or less the same. The grass in the foreground is a little bit more pronounced because of the wide angle effect, but I think actually it, it's, it adds some depth to the photo, even though it's minimalist. The settings are just f16 and I'm just focusing a few meters into the scene to get everything in focus. And I'm shooting at ISO 100 and I have a shutter speed of 1 40th of a second. It might be a little bit to the dark side because I'm shooting so much up into the air, but I do want that faster shutter speed for a shot with some grass that's not waving in the wind. And then I'm also trying with a slower shutter speed to have some grass that waves in the wind. And also it's just a question about waiting for the right clouds. So when you do minimal wide angle landscape photography, it's essential that you have a big wide open space. And what better than this place here, the ocean. So I've come down here to make a pier shot. And obviously all landscape photographers ought to have a pier shot in their portfolio. And I have one from the Lake District, but I was never really satisfied with it. So yeah, I think uh, today is a very good day because the clouds are just amazing big brooding ominous and yeah well quite moody actually and then when I attach a couple of filters I can just smooth out the water and get that ethereal and otherworldly sense to the photo. So I've had to stack my filters and I'm using my polarizing filter in here and then I'm using a variable ND filter out here and I've just closed it all the way down so it's all dark. And that gives me at f16 and ISO 50, a 15 second shutter speed and I'm overexposing by one stop and then I'm pulling it back just to get a super clean photo afterwards. So some of you may wonder if I don't get vignetting when I stack my filters and yes I do. So I have two options. Either I have to zoom a little bit in to like 30 millimeters or so or I can use Photoshop to just clean up those edges. I'm not sure I can actually do that in Photoshop. It should be fairly simple but uh, I'm taking one shot with vignetting and then I'm taking one where I've zoomed in a little bit. Obviously I can also just crop the one with vignetting afterwards. So yeah, I'll figure it out somehow.
So right now I'm literally just driving around in the Danish landscape and just came by this field where there is like a lone tree standing between two other fields. And it looks just absolutely beautiful. So with today's clouds, it is definitely a shot to take. So just like before, I'm going for a handhold shot because I can shoot at f16 at 1 50th of a second and it's all good. There's not too much wind here. So all the weed around me here won't move too much in the wind. So it's literally just like finding your foreground and then placing the tree right there straight in the middle and using the beautiful moody clouds in the background. So quite a simple shot and yeah, it just takes a little bit of mingling around to get that proper foreground. I have a chapter on light and shadow and one on depth in my first ebook on composition. Two compositional tools I used to compose these photos. If you want to learn more about this and composition in general, there are links to my two ebooks and their free light versions down in the description. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see even more landscape photography related videos and let me know down in the comments which photo you like the best and on your way down there I'd highly appreciate a like.